and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The federal government insists cost of living is firmly on its radar following the release of the latest economic data. Australia's inflation rate for the year to March has come in at 7%. Now that's dropped from the previous figure of 7.8%. Treasurer Jim Chalmers says the upcoming budget will contain cost of living relief, which does prioritise the most vulnerable people in our community. Uh, Assistance, for example, with energy bills will go to people on pensions and payments. Uh, The second one is the mandatory code for gas and the policy that we have released for final consultation today. The PM, meantime, says he isn't surprised that some Labor MPs want an increase to JobSeeker. More than 300 people signed an open letter to Anthony Albanese calling for a raise. Now, that included four of his government backbenchers. He says they are still finalising what will be in the budget, though. I understand that people are under real pressure. I certainly understand that. I know what it's like to grow up in a household uh, reliant upon... A pension. The government is dismissing suggestions there's a lack of supply for the majority of key medications which will be covered by new changes. From September, patients will be able to buy up to 60 days worth of prescription drugs using just one script. Now, some chemists argue that that will be hard to keep up with the level of demand. Confirmation that the Quad security meeting will be held in Sydney next month. The gathering involves Australia, the US, Japan and India, including Joe Biden. Leaders will talk about the best way to keep peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. A Queensland woman today who used the identity of a SeaWorld helicopter crash victim to avoid a traffic ticket has been heckled just outside of court. And the giants of motorsport industry will be honoured with their very own postage stamp by Australia Post. Mark Scaife, Craig Lowndes, Dick Johnson and Alan Moffat are being recognised for their part in shaping the social and cultural life of Australia. Australia. Sport and entertainment are next. Two former AFL players will enter the boxing ring next month. Cam Mooney and Tom Bell Chambers go head to head at Margaret Court Arena on May 24. And the Margaret River Surf Pro has been called off for another day. Now that was due to poor conditions. Taking a look at your entertainment news and Miley Cyrus fans have set social media ablaze amid some speculation that the singer secretly released more music but under a pseudonym. Songs were uploaded to Spotify under the name Clara Pierce that sound eerily like Miley's voice. Sam Smith has been forced to cancel more shows after coming down with a mystery virus. The singer has been embarking on a global tour but may be forced to postpone the Copenhagen leg. Now that's after the entire team it came down with that illness. And Halsey has split from their partner after five years together. The singer also filing for full custody of their 20-month-year-old son. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.